Hey, I'm Pleasant Good Day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric. Please subscribe if you enjoy the content down below in the easy to use subscribe button on the easy to use widget at the end of the video. This is going to be on Tyler Wade. The Angels making another solid small pickup here after they have, of course, made bigger pickups in the realms of Syndergaard and also getting a very steady Eddie that had a breakout masterful season last year and Aaron Loop to add to their pitching. But when it comes to Tyler Wade, he hasn't been the most consistent cat, obviously, when it comes to his major league career uh, hitting-wise, but he did hit two sixty eight last year, which is a lot more towards his MILB career high, which is at two seventy four, and that is what he hit last year at 17 storm bases. He can skate on the bases. He had 143 career steals during his minor league career and five RBIs last season with 34 hits and 31 runs and only 121 at-bats. So he is a player, one of the guys with the Yankees like Clint Frazier, uh, Rufne Odor, and also Wade were able to move on. Frazier and Odor ended up getting cut. Wade ended up getting traded to the Angels for cash considerations or a future player to be named later. And I think this is a good, solid minor move made by the Angels that is going to become a good, solid depth bench piece for the Angels, and you always have to fill out your roster. And Artie Moreno seems to be focusing more on the cream of the crop, pros not prospects, the cream of the crop, goals that the Angels need to hit, which is getting better pitching. And they did that, of course, in Loop and Syndergaard, and now you're adding to the finishing pieces to fill out your roster players in Tyler Wade, who's coming off of his best major league season at 268, much more near his MILB career high with a 340 or 354 OBP and a 677 OPS, much more near his MILB career highs as well, where in the majors he's only at 298 OBP and 605 OPS. Um, but he's able to start, get going last year, and the Angels took notice of that. Now they have him as a depth piece to have that can field, that can play the shortstop position, that can, of course, also play the second base position, and can play all three outfield positions. So he adds versatility, he adds speed, he's a good pinch runner to your team, and he's a solid defender, obviously better in certain places. I would say better in the infield because that's where he was more accustomed coming up in the outfield, but he's a good, versatile player that's a solid defender in all places, and a player that now is starting to hit like more so like he did in the MILB level in the minors, and that is really going to progress him well to become a very good, valuable bench player in this league at still only the age of 27, so a nice small pickup by the Angels. Thanks for watching this video on Tyler Wade and the nice small pickup that the Angels made in acquiring him for cash considerations or a player to be named later. This has been Sports Fan News. I'm Jeff Ward. Subscribe down below or on the easy-to-use widget up above as well as at Steel Flyers for some more great all-sports content. Peace out, everybody.